Hello and welcome back everybody. Um, just did and I don't remember this music being this mili military military focused I don't know how to say that. Whatever. Anyway, I don't remember her being this obnoxiously military feeling last time we were here, but that's me. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on my active task right now to finish my tutorials is the machinery of war. Start the next chapter. I am going to go ahead and go through the first several quick tasks. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have to turn that down. It's really loud. They should not drown out everything else, and seriously, I think that at my current speaking volume and the and the way my mic is picking up how I am speaking, uh, this is pretty good balance because you can still hear what's going on in the background, but you can also understand me. Anyway, I am going to go through the first couple of introductory tasks and finish them before I start doing any kind of um, grinding. And when I am grinding, that is when I upload the quest. So let's see where this is going to take me. Let's just click on this arrow and stop pac-manning these dots. Come on. Oh, maybe I have to get around the tree. Uh, talk to Isolde. What's wrong? Those accursed beasts, those trolls, they killed my wife. I won't give up until I kill every last one of them. One of them. Oh, he is speaking. Never mind. I will be quiet then. Let's make it so that we can hear him better, because I couldn't hear him at all. I could not hear him at all. So we will let him speak for himself. Now they tell me they can't properly equip a new recruit. All they gave me was a sword. Oh, poor baby. Let's see, you look battle ready to me. You might not be ready for this. I think he might not be ready for this. Let's see that. I'm going to kill every last one of those beasts. No one's going to stop me. Hey, no offense. What do you need? You don't survive against trolls for long without a helmet. And without gloves, I can't grip onto my sword in the freezing mountains. Good points. I need to try my hand at blacksmithing and leather crafting. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that would be great! If you can get me a bronze helm and a pair of leather gloves, I'll be killing trolls in no time! Maybe. You have a new task! Woohoo! Feels like copper. Mine some copper so you can make equipment out of it. Uh, problem? I don't think I have a pickaxe yet. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so my flashy arrow is now on top of this red arrow with a an exclamation point. So let's see if I can go there. We'll just click that on the mini map and then run through everybody. As if they weren't even there. Hmm. Can I pick up a pickaxe? Well, maybe I'll find one when I go inside. Enter cave entrance. Oh, look, it's flashing right on this copper rock. But I don't have a pickaxe. Oh, yeah, I do have a pickaxe. Really? When did I get that? Please, somebody! Uh-oh. That came from the back of the mine. Sounds like someone's in trouble. I really just, I have to point out, I love the fact that you know what she looks like <laughs> because her chat head is there, but you have no idea who she is. 
Let's just say that. Are you in rubble? You have a new task. Are you in rubble? Somewhere in the mine, you can hear someone calling for help. And you know that she has blonde hair. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Continue. Um, so it says right here you can get directions. I'm highlighting it with my mouse that you can't see. It says right here you can get directions. Basically that just means that if you have lost your little pack polygonals here um, that your arrow underneath your feet is pointing to, you, you can get them. But I am going to again go on my little mini map and find my flashing golden arrow and just click on that and not even worry about having to walk Is the steps Is anybody up. there? <laughs> uh, you have a braid, but I still don't know your name. Ooh. It was so much faster than clicking every two seconds. Okay, mine blocked tunnel. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to check on. Because I don't understand how I have a pickaxe. I don't remember ever picking one up. So let's just check. Let's just check my tool belt real quick. Let's see what else I have that I have no idea that I have. Apparently they just now start you out with quite a bit of things. Okay, there's a few things that I still have to get. No, wait, it says 8 out of 8, so I must actually have these. The colors throwing me off. Oh my goodness, I even have a barbarian rod. Alright. I have all the molds I can need, except this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so I have all of the basic molds. Uh, it's just the more advanced molds that you get during quests that I do not have yet. And then all of my farming equipment. Uh, very interesting. And I'm missing just the watch and chart, which are both things that you have to do a mini quest to get. So, all right, now they start you out with almost everything that you need. I'm sorry that I had to check on my tools before I could help you. Is someone there? Yes, I'm here. Who's there? It's Linza! There are three of us trapped in here. Can you help? I can't clear the debris from this side. I'll get to it. Woo! So excited to mine you out. Thanks for the help. We were really in a jam there. You were? Yes, thank you. I'm glad you're all right. Be more careful in the future. Uh, oh, I'm fine. Right. It'll take more than a few trolls causing a cave-in to take me down. I need to get back to camp. Here, take this army axis, thanks. It's a special tool made by the dwarves. Oh, she's fading in and out. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I got an army axe. Oh. This is a specially crafted tool made by dwarves in the army. It gives you bonus experience when mining copper and tin. But you have to have it on you and somehow you're character has to know to use that instead of what's in your tool belt. 
you can't replace your tool belt tool with this tool. You just have to carry it with you and have something extra hanging around in your pack even when you would prefer maybe not to have that. But whatever. Linza hands you a bronze longsword and an offhand bronze longsword along with the arm axe. What the heck are you trying to load me up on now, lady? Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's see. Okay. What? Oh, -ho, I can have two long swords. See? <laughs> I like how, how one points up and one points down in your inventory. That's how you know the difference. Uh, there's there's no other way that they can make the difference obvious, so that's what they do. Okay, heavy metal. Mine some tin to combine with copper to make a bronze, to make bronze a stronger metal than either one individually. So let's mine this tin rock. And I do believe I am using the dwarven pickaxe. So whoo! It takes one copper and one tin to make bronze, so try to mine it in equal quantities. Alright, smelt ore into a bronze bar so you can smith it into something useful. Let's go smithe, shall we? Exit cave. Bar one, small ore into a bronze bar so you can... I already said that. Here's a little picture of the furnace, and the furnace is right here, so we shall make a bronze bar. Okay, smelting metal gives you experience, which levels up your smithing skill. However, one bronze bar doesn't do all that much. Metal bars are used to make weapons, armor, and tools. A bronze helm for Isolde. So we'll cut back to the anvil. I don't know why we're going to the further one. I just seem to think, I guess. Bronze helm. And we're done. Yay! Task complete. Yay! I guess I need to. Armor protects you in combat. If you practice your smithing skill by making more equipment, you can learn to make armor to cover more areas of your body. Okay. Bullvine intervention. Kill a cow so you can tan its hide into leather. Alright, let's go kill a cow. Cow killing this way, says my yellow arrow under my feet. Oh, look at all of the um, leather. The cow hide. Which is free for the taking. Other people have dropped it. And do not taunt it. I do not actually have to kill a cow. Do you see his fireworks? Oh, he gained a level. Oh, give me those bones. Oh, you know what? I forgot that we had the baby troll and I was going to drop him because uh, they're so funny. And I just kept forgetting. I haven't decided what I want to feed him yet. The thing is that trolls they take their name from the very first thing they eat. So, um, he can be named many, many funny things. He wants me to kill this cow, even though I don't need to because I've got all this stuff. I'd like to get why. Okay. Um, it hasn't told me to yet. 
but I know that I can bury bones for prayer. I wonder if it'll sprout. You completed bury the bones of your foes to gain prayer experience. Most creatures drop bones when defeated. Bury them as soon as you pick them up to save space and gain prayer experience. Continue. Cool. Um. And so, so it goes. Well, I guess I'll kill a cow. I don't need to kill a cow. All these free drops, but it means I actually did the task. Don't forget to take the cowhide to make leather with. Have a cowhide tanned into soft leather so you can make gear from it. Okay. So. I have a feeling my conversations are going to come off of this because I do want to be able to see what people are saying. Hmm. Let's see. We shall see. Anyway, it's off to the cow hide tanning into leather dude. With my little troll following me. Talk to Jack Oval. You'd be surprised how much the people of Burthorpe rely on crafted goods. Want to give it a try? I need you to tan some leather for me. Jack tends your cowhides into leather. Craft a pair of leather gloves for Isolde. Okay. I didn't actually craft gloves though, did I? Oh my goodness, you're confusing me. No, I just have leather. You'd be surprised how much the people of Burthorpe rely on crafted goods. Want to give it a try? Uh, you've already said that. I need crafting supplies. I need free thread. Ooh. In my day, if you wanted thread, you actually had to pay for it or kill monsters for it. Today, it's free. I'll take it. Let's craft some leather into, with a needle. Yes, that's important. Into gloves. I don't actually want six pairs though. I will take two. So I have one to give to Isolde, and I'll just go ahead and put the others right on my handies right now. Yes, that sounds lovely. Arm the militia. Help Isolde the militia man get geared up for war. Let's click on his little flashy arrow thingy again. And we'll talk to Isolde. You're back! Those trolls aren't getting any deader with me just standing here. Well, there are other people fighting them, you know. You're not the only one. So some of them are getting deader. I have some equipment for you. You got my equipment? Yep, just like I said. Glad I'm a person of my words. This is great! Hit me! What? You want me to hit you? I'm so glad she was saying what I was thinking. Yeah, I have to see if this actually protects me. Okay. Didn't feel a thing. Then my work here is done. Now you are a warrior. I'm so glad that's all it takes. Thank you. For some reason, they gave me this chisel when I signed up, but it's no use to me. You should take it. Okay. Thanks for everything. You're welcome for everything. Could wish that I armored you a little bit better than a helmet and a... and some gloves, but... The chisel tool is designed to fit a dwarven army axe. You now get bonus experience when working leather or soft clay while you have the axe with you. So, one more reason why you have to just take the axe everywhere. Why is this arrow still here? Okay. 
Only members can use the Dwarven Army Axe. Well, I did go ahead and um, sign up for a couple months of membership just to make things easier for making these videos, uh, streamline my trading and all of that, so I can actually use the Dwarven Army Axe right now. But if you are playing free, you know, just go ahead and bank the thing if it's given to you, if you have the option to get it, bank it, and then when you do decide to become a member, if you do decide to become a member, you can get it. Oh my gosh! Bob the cat! Coming up in Hell's Kitchen. Isn't that a TV show? The war has driven starving refugees south. Uh, well, I guess that actually... Okay, so, you know, these are short. That's cool. I don't really have to log off now. Um, ooh, I have a mining lamp. Oh, i use that and it shoved me up over into the next level because all of my levels are teeny tiny. Anyway, um, I don't actually have to log off now, but, um, I might as well go ahead and, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find out if I want to give the baby troll any of these. Let's talk to him. I just picked him up. Let's drop him back down. And talk to him. Food! <laughs> Is that all you think about? Food? Food! I'll see what I can find. Okay, since it is so easy to reset his little name, I'm going to try to feed him something. Let's try to feed him. Let's feed him. Okay, so now that's his name. And uh, when I find something more interesting to name him, we'll, we'll reset his name and we'll feed him again. Um, technically, the first thing you feed a tr baby troll is their name for life, but um, the rules are kind of off when it's your pet baby troll, I guess. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and log off now and upload this and keep these sessions just within the one set of tasks that are assigned together for now. And uh, as soon as I get through all of the introductory sets of tasks, then I'll start training and putting throwing some actual quests in between the just training and broadcasting interviews so keep with me bear with me if you are actually following this um or if you found this later and i've already had these things uploaded then you know watch whatever you want of what's uploaded anyway see you guys later